Hey everyone, it's McMage here, and welcome back to Lil Guardsman. In the last video, we did a weird game show of So You Think You Can Save a Princess. Admitted a couple of things, learned that the princess is in fact talk. missing. Pretending to cook while I spy on that hunk of hunk of fine piece of wizard over there. And slash or, you know, ran away. So we have to do something about that apparently. I don't really know. What are you doing here, Sir Beverly? Thought I kicked you out forever ago. Uh. Oh my god. Blinks and says nothing. Is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil. No, everything is not okay, Beverly. Okay. okay. My dear true love, Princess Desdemona. Uh huh. Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium? That is correct. You phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same she. <laughs> oh my god. What about her, Bev? What's what's happening, when Beverly? I heard she'd vanished. I tried to get on so you think you can save a princess, mm -hmm. but none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. I'm I'm really not surprised about that, Beverly. Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Mom That's okay. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. <laughs> Tell me what to do, Lil. Should I return me? to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? Um, definitely don't do that. You know what? You know what? Why not? What the hell? The more people I searching for her, for it, the, the merrier. For Am I right? Why not? What biscuit? The, uh, oh my god. It's a metaphorical biscuit. In this case, the biscuit is the princess. It's true. And you think I should risk what exactly? Your life? Question mark? Risk your life, Beverly. Yeah. Without Princess Desdemona, I'm worried that this my somehow going to affect no the sprawl, anyway. but... Okay. That's so, so sad. Very depressing, Beverly. I indeed. And thus, I will be off to find my destiny. Thank you, Lil. For everything. Anytime, Bev. Don't mention it. Anytime. Okay, we're gonna go... I know we have more people to talk to, but we're gonna... <gasps> oh my god. Hang on, hang on. I wanna go find the... Chris... Lil? Lil? I want to go find the crystal that Sir Phineas Pomp apparently dropped. Oh, this is open now. Why is it open? That cannot be safe. I thought it wasn't open last time, was it? Hey, Garbs, did you see a thing fall out of a man's pocket over here? You've been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. I do. Take a look. Okie dokie. I would like a couple more real ones, and then I want another slot for the x-ray. I'll give you the butter knives. I don't really care about Sprinkles' ribbon for being the best cat ever. If you want a bag of heads, buddy. You know what? I'm keeping my bag of heads. You can have the pictures, though. I'm keeping my bag of heads. Okay, bye. I thought there would be a thing out here somewhere, but I guess not. That's okay. Let's just talk to every single person alive in the tavern right now. Hello. He hello, Finny. Lil. Lil? Let's, let's talk to one of them, please. Lilibeth. Please. There we go. Pathetic, Goodness. weak coward. Oh my god. You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Oh my god, Praetor. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Why'd you say it like that? Yes, I would. Have you seen her? It is my understanding that you have selected a self-involved, pretentious mage as your choice of adventurer. Well, yeah. Yes, that's right. Oh, the, princess the other options is as good didn't, as doomed. Didn't, they didn't seem good, okay? The other options seemed bad. On behalf of the Marvog Empire, I must say you have made a terrible choice. Uh, listen, if he finds her alive and well, of the of Petra, I'm gonna rub it in your I guys' face. Mages are untrustworthy. Okay, well, he was the only trustworthy and one. And smug. Oh my god. And ugly. Okay, okay I think guys. we're losing the thread a little bit here. It's so true. 
Uh. Fine, I'll apologize. I want to double down, but both. I'll if apologize do because again, they're royal, I and I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Please forgive my error and do not take it as a slight against your people. So true. I don't want to upset right, either of you. Right, it is forgiven. <sighs> what he said. Good. I'm never talking to you guys again. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's. Didn't I talk Can't to you talk already? Will. Pretending to wipe the counter while I eaves. Okay. What's up, my? What was your name? Magnus. To you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. What's up, Magnus? My journeys across this land have brought me here. Have they now? I know. We met at the gate. Whoa. He won't remember I you. Really forgot. Gotta go easy on the peace blossom. Anywho, what did you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about whatever you wanted to. Oh. King Oswin. Let's talk about King Oswin. What do you know about King Oswin? Oswin? Yeah, Oswin. After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Uh huh. Three in particular. He already, he already told me about this. But what about the prince? He already told me all this. I Anything thought it would be more want? information. Um, no. I'm good. I just want to start a new day. This hat. It is not. I believe in you, Mr. Fantastico. There's still a location- oh. No. You just shoved me in the tavern, so I figured it was bed Betty by. Betty by time. <gasps> the goblin meeting! I almost forgot about that. Lil walks down a dark back alley to find a red door. She knocks, hears movement behind the door, and suddenly a slit opens and she sees a pair of glowing yellow eyes peering out at her. What's the password? I don't know what the password is. Joshua. Get out of here, kid. Go home. Wait a minute. Uh, I think I've got it here somewhere. I don't know what the password is. Viva la Gabo Lucion. <laughs> That's the password. Come on in. Thank you. I didn't know. I didn't know what the password was. I know that I think Joshua was one of the goblins' names. Maybe. Whoa, rowdy in here. Hello, gentlemen. Don't even get me started. Who do they think built this city up into the sprawling metropolis they get to enjoy today? Because it sure as hell wasn't humans. Um. He looks very familiar. Did humans haul the stone that became our roads and buildings? No. No. Troll labor did that. Not troll labor. Did humans dig the intricate system of subterranean tunnels that became the world's greatest sewer system, getting our piss and shit off the streets? No! Our mole brothers and sisters did that! That would make sense. That would make sense. Gross but true. The late King Oswin was a man full Gross of empty but promises. True. He vowed to end the persecution and oppression of all goblins, dwarves, kobolds, vampires, you kobolds. name it. But last time I checked, I'm still treated like a second-class citizen. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I never liked King Oswin. The day of the royal wedding she was too young to know him, anyways. I'm sure. Are sitting fat, but they are blind. Okay. Hear my words, people. That day will be their undoing. That day will be their reckoning. Uh -huh. A change is coming on that wedding day. Will you RSVP for the revolution? <laughs> will you RSVP for the revolution? Are you guys gonna attack someone Go home, on the wedding and keep your eyes day? and ears open for what happens next? I invite my inner circle to join me downstairs. Light refreshments will not be served as this. Carl forgot it was his week to bring orange slices. Ugh, Carl. Bake my head. Hello, gents. Long time no see. Am I right? How's it going, Gabos? Is that the king? You came! I did. You owe me five bucks, Gary. <laughs> it's worth it. Did you hear him? I Isn't did. He amazing. What did you think? Um, he spoke the truth. I thought I thought it was I thought it was good. That head goblin guy is amazing. Yeah. I'm sorry. He knows how to I rare really up a had crowd. No idea how bad it was for you guys. It's very true. You're lucky his slide projector broke down. The audio visuals make it even more horrifying. <laughs> so, is okay. something really gonna happen on Princess Desdemona's wedding day? 
Like an attack? That's what I'm saying. Are you guys about to Who get knows? dangerous? The leader and his inner circle keep their cards pretty close to their chest. Interesting. But whatever it is, it's gonna be a real game changer. Uh-oh. Well, I'm just glad I'm not invited. Yeah, right? Sheesh. Just keep your ears peeled and your eyes to the ground. You'll get your chance to be on the right side of history. You'll see. I don't know, man. I hope so. See you around, fellas. Viva la Gabalusion! All right. I'll, I'll say it back. Viva Why not? Viva la Gabalusion! You're getting it. Thank you. I don't know, guys. Just be careful, okay? Oh, I can't go that way anymore. Just, just, you know, be careful. Don't trust too many people. A tangled web of, of corruption and lies. And some coupons. There's Monty's. Okay. Don't do anything silly now. That's all I'm saying. Don't be a... Don't be a little sheep in this. Use your own brain of thinking. Also, I don't know if the wedding's gonna You've happen because she's already... Princess Desdemona is already missing. Slash kidnapped. Slash run away. So, butt face. Jail was going to be tough for Buttface, the farming goblin, as many of the prisoners were aware that the putrid produce they'd been eating in their rations came from his lousy land. But he wasn't locked in with them, they were locked in with him. Oh my god. If the years of dungeon crawling for ore had taught Buttface anything, it was this. Find the biggest sword you can and swing it wildly in front of you. He managed to maim and dismember 13 fellow prisoners and two guards until he was finally subdued. What started as a simple misdemeanor charge with a seven-day sentence turned into a life in solitary with no parole. Buttface now has two tattoos, two words tattooed on his knuckles, Lil and Gate. Oh my god. Should I be worried for my life? The Edward the Great eventually arrived at Becky Schneiderman's birthday party. He hit the ground running with his tried and tested routine. He opened with pick a card, moved into is that your handkerchief, and ended strong with the classic how many eggs do you have in your pocket trick. Unfortunately, none of these impressed any of the preteen party goers. After his performance, the Edward enjoyed a piece of vanilla cake and awkwardly waited for Mr. Schneiderman to settle his payment. With the check in his pocket, the Edward went straight to his parents' garden shop to boast of his success. Unfortunately, the Edward's parents didn't consider a check of 37 gold, 40 before did reducing the price of a piece of vanilla cake to be much of a success. They were very disappointed in their son's career choice. I can't believe they charged you for a piece of cake. Gary and Julian, oh I thought your name was Joshua, were pumped to see you at the rally. They boasted to all their friends that they not only convinced the small human to let them in, but they even got her to attend a Goblin Liberation Army rally. After you left, the GLA's leader pulled Gary and Julian aside to personally thank them for helping to bridge the gap between the groups. This meant a lot to Julian, whose belief in the cause burned bright and hot. Gary, however, couldn't quite let go of his daydream of a world where he was actually a powerful mage, not just a goblin pretending to be one. Sure, he would still support the efforts of the GLA, and but he could do it while making fireworks appear from his fingertips, or while conjuring miniature unicorns to delight and entertain his pals. What started as a simple two goblins in a trench coat grift woke something up for Goblin Gary. From this day on, he would begin his quest to become a wizard. Now all he needed was a robe, a scar, and a depressing orphan backstory. Man's name is Echo the Wanderer. After stopping in at the Twisted Sister for a glass of his tipple of choice, Echo proceeded to head down to Pinheads, the local bowling club, in the sprawl where his team was playing for a league night. Thanks to the calming effects of his particularly potent Peace Blossom, he was unstoppable, bowling a perfect 300. My god. His team went on to win the league, and a commemorative photo was put up on the wall at Pinheads to celebrate Echo's perfect game. Good job, Echo. Oh, we're learning about these guys too? Having lost So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Neil Warkiller fell into a barbarian depression and left the sprawl. After a week of sulkily trudging across the countryside, Neil discovered a quaint farmer's market populated by elderly locals. Lending a hand here and there with the various farmers selling their produce, the once fierce fighter found employment and ultimately peace with a flower vendor. Oh, as he should. After winning So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Articulous Flame Hands wasted no time getting straight to work. He conjured a small army of moles and other small creatures and sent them off in every direction to seek out the princess's location. Unfortunately, and almost immediately, his mighty mini mammal militia was entirely decimated by falcons, eagles, and other large predators. 
Depressed by the mass rodent death he was indirectly responsible for, the disheartened mage returned to his tower. He was out of ideas. He'd give it a day or two, then report that he was unable to locate the lost princess due to an entanglement due to entangled cosmic forces blocking his ethereal aura or some other nonsense. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't be able to do it. Having lost, Perry shouts and found his way to his favorite tavern in the Little Ogre Quarter. After one too many delicious margaritas, Perry got sloppy trying to pickpocket the bartender and was lifted off the ground by the bouncer. Mistaking some bar snacks for one of his patented smoke bombs, the inebriated thief dramatically threw down a handful of mixed nuts then ran headfirst into a pillar. Everyone in the bar laughed at him, and Perry could have died from embarrassment if he hadn't already died from severe blunt force trauma to the head. R.I.P. Perry. Good. Lord. Okay. Level 5. Hello, Little Father. Rise and shine. Oh, my, good morning. Why, Dad, Can I help you? you? Rise, you shine. I'll take five more minutes. Exactly. It's time to get up. Good Lord, why? Why? Let me sleep in. Shouldn't you be down at the guard shed? And shouldn't I be heading down to cover for you? <laughs> Do you want the good news or the bad news? I'll take the good news. We got the day off. <gasps> now you really? can finally have a day to just be a kid and do kid stuff and oh my God. eat kid food. But who's going to man the shed? And throw rocks at things? And throw rocks at things. The biggest rocks at the biggest things. I think I heard some of your friends out back in the tavern doing just that. Ooh. Oh boy. Thanks, Dad. Wait. What's the bad what's news? What's the bad news? Yeah. We only got the day off because we have to work the night shift. The night shift. I'm going back to bed. Bro. No. You're getting out of this house and taking some time to yourself today. Oh my god. Why do we have to work the night shift? My question exactly. Uh, good news or bad news? Do I just have the chronometer just sort of stand in there? Bad news. Apparently, you didn't pick the right person's champion for the rescue mission. Okay. Whatever that means. And they're punishing you for it. Bro, just because he did a bad job? And I won't be able to cover for you. I'm so confused. Because I'm also working the night shift at the East Gate. Oh my god. Okay. And what's the good news? That's so confusing. I guess it was just bad news this time. Oh. Who's punishing you? Okay. No one. I work the night shift a couple times a week to help us get by. Really? Oh, Dad. I didn't know that. Oh. So, I guess you could say the economy is punishing me. Uh, that and inflation. True. If taxes keep going up, I might have to get a third job so we can keep affording things like your little doohickey here. Like chrominominometer? don't touch that! Oh, my God. Whoa. What just happened? Uh, magic. Do you want the Science? good news or the bad news? Both are. I don't know. Do you feel okay? Are you good? I feel fine, sweetie. No need to look all blurry about it. Now you get um, out of here and enjoy your day off. Okay. But don't enjoy it too much. You have to work all night, remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm going. Just uh, try not to operate any heavy machinery until I get back. He's gonna immediately go into a forklift and do check something. I Doctor B and make sure my dad isn't radioactive. <laughs> Lil, you should probably actually, you know, spend some time being a get kid. Out of here and enjoy your day. You know. Oh, did I collect it again? I did. We've never had to collect it before. That's interesting. Okay, time to be a kid. Rats. Oh. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They're on Mr. Fantastico. Oh god, the rat problem is even worse than I thought. We eat all of our meals here. That's a little disgusting. She gags. Blech. Can we talk to the rats? Weak. Mr. Fantastico, do you know you have a rat on you? The rat is not a hat, buddy. This hat. It... Okay, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave. Respectfully, and also disrespectfully, because why do you have so many rats in your tavern? I think I can hear my friends go. Out back. I want to go play. Oh right. Sorry, sorry. I thought, you know, we were gonna check on Doctor B first, but this is fine too. 
Out back we go. Out back we go. What kind of friends do you have, Lil? No one's here but Garby. Hi, Garby. Oh, further back. That's a lot of people wanted. Isla, Hello. Simon, Lamont. How's it going, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, if it isn't Little Miss, I haven't been around for a while. Where you been all this time? Working. Not around. I got what every kid fears they'll get one day. A job. Chicken pox? <laughs> Worse than that, Simon. I got a job. So true. What are you up to? Well, you just missed the, the rock does Demona. The morning. Sadly, we chucked the last rock oh. alley over the fence. Next. Well, man, that's all I we wanted were to do. Of seeing if we could get our mitts on some of the cool stuff that Garby guys got over there. They look like magical toys, basically. Uh, sure. One of the few perks Good of idea, job is I getting guess. to play with those toys. Can confirm, they're fun. <laughs> is this Princess Desdemona? Because it says, "Have you seen this person?" Come on, Lil. Oh, okay. Hello, Garby. Hi, Lil. Sorry, I'm not quite ready to open up the shop yet. I can't seem to find my inventory key. What are you doing up so early? Isn't that a great question? Work in the graveyard shift tonight. So, I'm finally available to see some of my yep. friends who have responsible parents and reasonable bedtimes. Believe it or not. People like those small hooligans over there? That is correct. Those aren't small hooligans. They're my friends. And I was actually coming to talk to you about letting us borrow a couple of items. I Definitely not going to borrow. And we can talk about loaning you some merchandise later. <laughs> but first, I've lost the key to my inventory. Yeah, what happened to it? One of them might have stolen it. Well, if they stole it, why would I be asking you for it? Maybe you could talk to them for me. Work your oh own my God. magic and see what you could do to get it back. Roll credits. On it. Okay. I guess so, Garby. Oh! She- she stuck. Oh, I can look at these. Wait, no, I want to look at these. Lil, please. Most of these criminals are part of the notorious Hilltop Gang. Bunch of dorks. Alright guys, time to confess. Which one of you took poor Garby's inventory key? I bet it was you. It was me. Bet it was you. I don't know. Bet it was you. I ain't saying nothing. I knew it. So that's the way it's gonna be, is it? Shake Listen, my I need that key to upgrade head. tools and buy more power crystals. So one of you is gonna tell me who's responsible. Bet it's you. Are you a lawyer all of a sudden? Yes, I am. Nope, but I'm a guardsman. I hope you got your story straight, because I really don't want to go down to the guard shed and get my metal detector. Not the metal detector. So tell me, which one of you took Garby's key? Yeah, but it was you. It was Simon. Oh. I've never brought this up to the group before, but I think Isla is a kleptomaniac. Oh my god. I always see her taking things out of Lamont's backpack when he's not looking. That's funny. But also... Also what? Between you and me, I saw Lamont poking his big, dumb, handsome nose that sits in the middle of his gorgeous face uh -huh. all around uh -huh. that booth. Uh-huh. It was probably him. Oh, he's such a bad boy. But also, I could make but up also my mind what? now. Or get... I want to question you guys further. I know it wasn't me. Okay. I'm in a bit of a two-strike situation with my parents, and I'll be sent to the National Ballet School in Marvog if I oh get in trouble Oh my god, again. not the National Ballet School in Marvog. But I'm telling you, got here first, and I saw him rooting around Garby's shop. Okay. Simon. Okay, maybe Isla isn't a klepto, but she did go through his bag just before you got here. It could be because she doesn't got a fat crush on him. Stuff. I got here third, so I didn't see anything. Uh oh, so you did get here I first, said it before, Lamont. I'll say it again. It was Isla. Don't say that to the girly pop that's got a crush on you. I guarantee it was Lamont. I guarantee it was Lamont. So, did you figure out who took Lamont? I hate to be a narc. But I think it was Lamont. This one right here. This it was man. Probably Lamont. It was He's the tough definitely kid with the missing tooth. Definitely Lamont. Thanks, Lil. I'll be right back. Anytime, hey, Garbs. You. Mullet boy. Stay right where Mullet you are. Mullet boy. You get him, Garb. 
Garby isn't smart or strong or fast. By the time he reached Lil's hooligan friends, they had run off. But Lil had been correct, and startled, Lamont dropped the key as he fled. Knew it. Oh, got the key back. That's and good. Those hooligans ran off. It's a win-win. <laughs> now my shop is ready to open. Thanks, Garby. For helping me out. I'd like to offer you some gold to upgrade one of your <gasps> tools. Gold. Up on crystals. Whatever your little heart desires. Oh my God! Thank you, Garby. I will take a fake crystal. Thank you. That's all. Thanks, Garby. Well, I guess that's about it. Nothing. Nothing much else to do since my friends ran away. Whoa, so many places. Okay, the dig site right behind my head. The guard shed to start my shift. The exciting coliseum for sports. And the dungeon slash Malcolm's office. Okay, let's go to B's place. But also, the entrance to the dig site is closed, but there's a note. I have conveyed a meeting at the Ma Mage's Guild. The dig site is closed for the day. Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn. Well, that's just great. That's what awkward. Am I, supposed to do now? I know. I guess I could go back in time to when she was here. You could. Let's do it. Why not? Boop. Uh, yeah, why not? Um. This seems normal-ish. No. I died. Your reckless use of the chromonometer 3000 triggered a catastrophic rift in the space time space-time continuum you died that's okay well that's just great what am that is all the time I have did say I could only use it at the guard shed maybe that I hope you all enjoyed if you did please be sure to like subscribe and ding that cute little notification bell unless you already have then don't you dare touch it and I'll see you all in the next video.